Well, hello internets, here we are. We have ourselves a little bit of a vlog. Got a few things on my mind, got some things I'd like to share with you. So, I guess here we are, and welcome to the vlog. Well, it's been a few days uh, again since the last one. However, during these few days, um, there's been some uh, potential changes coming along. Uh, one of the biggest change is I have given my notice in the apartment that I am currently living in. I have been here for two years and uh, there are some issues with this building which it's not so bad that there's issues with the building but where the problem comes in is the lack of maintenance and the lack of wanting to maintain their building their properties and i can go down with a list of things that are broke or damaged or or such but i'll just kind of um, gloss over some of it the biggest thing, the dishwasher that's been broke since just a couple months after moving in that they still haven't fixed. Keep in mind that's been uh, almost two years now. And uh, you know there is windows that leak, carpet gets wet, drywall gets wet, anything under the windows get wet when it rains so uh, you know that can be a big thing especially for somebody with mold allergies. The uh, shower surround is falling off the wall and, you know, drywall gets wet behind the shower. You can have issues there, right? As long as, um, you know, you glue it, keep it glued, there's no issue. But it's, uh, it's kind of the way it is, right? There are other things too, like uh, substandard electrical that won't even run a simple air conditioner and uh, various other cosmetic problems that are more of a pain than uh, than uh, than anything but I guess uh, it's their building and uh, they choose to run it the way they see fit however uh, with my quest to cut down on my bills to change carriers and providers of services I got digging around and stuff and an ad crossed my mind and I started pursuing it and here it's a, another apartment um, that has everything I need with a brand new built-in air conditioner and uh, doesn't have anybody above me to thunder around till like one o'clock in the morning then back again at six o'clock in the morning so that'll be pretty sweet there's no carpet it's linoleum so that'll be definitely sweet you know, get getting rid of the dirty carpet and getting to something a person can actually sweep or manage. So over the last few days, I have been uh, packing up a storm, going through things, getting rid of things, sorting through things somewhat. I know when I moved out of the house in 2018, it was a bit of a quick move. Most of the effort was concentrated on the tools in the garage versus really sorting or going through what was in the house itself because it was the tools in the garage that was going to be the biggest uh, area of concern and when I moved into here I kind of planned on sorting through some of the paperwork and boxed items and it never really happened and those items some of them have remained sealed for two years so when I get to where I'm going then this winter when it's nice and cold I can tear in those boxes and sort things out, shred some old documents and get rid of some old junk that's been following me around that nobody really wants anymore and um, it is what it is. It's kind of weird a person can give his notice um, and the better part of a week goes by and no phone call from the landlord, no, uh, no hey you're moving out, what's going on? You know, is it the, can we fix something, can we help something, and there's been no, no attempt to address my concerns, no attempt to 
fix nothing, no attempt uh, for maintenance, the big maintenance company to address why um, my my tickets or my uh, problems that I've reported uh, almost uh, almost two years ago have not been fixed. It's um, I can understand due to this you know pandemic going on that they won't enter your suite, but send out a letter saying so or phone me saying so and. I can't really expect anything more from a rental company whose office has been closed since the beginning of all this anyway. You know, why Why wouldn't the staff be any different, the maintenance company be any different? Even though you see the maintenance men uh, running around the complex, but th they haven't received the orders to come and uh, look at my suite. It's um, when you look at the marks on the walls, when you look at the problems with this suite, it needs to be completely renovated, not just uh, prettied up and rented to another sucker, kind of like what they did to me. I was so grateful um, when I signed my lease in September of 2018 to have a place to live because it was looking like I was going to be living in my back of my truck or my trailer for the winter just based on the rental rates and couldn't find anything that I could afford to rent or, or 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 so when with everything up in the air at that time in my life uh, there's no way I was going to go buy a trailer or buy an RV, um, a lot or a home somewhere after just getting out of one you know myself so it's going to be a interesting um, few weeks here got to get things packed got to get things sorted and labeled and Got to uh, um, bubble wrap all the fragile things like the computer towers, the monitors, you know, anything that is glass. And uh, this time, though, I am not moving it myself. I suppose I could save the three, four hundred dollars and do it myself. But I would pay for it for the next, uh, you know, probably six months like it happened last time. This time, if you pay it done, or this time I pay it done, the movers come within, within an hour or three. They've got it all done, and it's good to go. And, um, you know, it's their pain, it's their discomfort, it's their losing of the next six months of their life rather than mine, because I know exactly what will happen, because it's happened in the past. I've moved so many times in my family life, and... Uh, you know, in my personal life before this and helped family move that I know what happens. And uh, not moving for 12 years, being in the house and then all of a sudden moving. Granted, there was a lot of stress going on there all, all the way around. Might have contributed to that too. And I was already sick uh, then having issues that some are still ongoing two years later. So, you know, some of those issues have been around for four years that keep uh, getting shoved aside by the medical community because I guess uh, it's not uh, important for them to have the surgery or whatever it is, but hey, it is what it is. I'm going to live my life the way my life is, and uh, if it's 20 years, then hey, great. If it's another four, then well... At least, uh, at least I lived it the way I wanted to, right? So I can't help when I'm sitting here um, nights where I can't sleep, think about the new apartment. Think about how I'm going to um, arrange the furniture, arrange the lights, arrange, uh, you know, the decor. Where am I going to put my art studio and a few things? Because, well, the layout's different, of course, and... I'm going to have to put my office into the bedroom, which isn't a big deal because, well, really, the the second bedroom here was meant for another purpose. And when it was clear that a, that other purpose wasn't going to be filled after the customary 14 to 16 months, then that's when things, well, obviously changed. We're kind of at a um, glimpse at the beginning. I go in another uh, three or four days to officially sign the papers even though I've already paid first month's rent damage, last month's rent, uh, got bills um, hooked up there already. Uh, they're still doing some renovations there 
and uh, things should be ready for me to move in and uh, everything good to go which will definitely be nice this building was a landing pad a spot to uh, stop for on my journey and I didn't know where I was going to end up at that time especially and I didn't know even last year where I was going to be and I still don't know what the future is but I don't really want to go and sink money into a a trailer lot to, to buy a, um, a mobile home and stick on a lot in a small town or definitely don't want to get roped into buying another 60 year old house in a small town because uh, buying one 60 year old house is enough in my lifetime and the thing about a lease is you stay in it for a year or whatever the term of the lease is and if you don't like it where you're at then you can move and uh, well, that might be what the future holds. You know, maybe I'll end up moving to another uh, medium-sized city uh, somewhere in Alberta altogether. I found a lot of smaller towns don't have rentals per se. You either, if you're lucky enough to find a trailer to rent, then it's a trailer. Or if you're lucky enough, then you find a house. But there are really no apartments and really no suites or nothing like there is in um, you know, larger, larger to medium, larger cities where there's apartments and suites and, and all sorts of rentals. So my um, dreams of living in a small town are probably not going to happen unless I buy, sink my money into that town, put down roots. And at this point in my life, I don't really see the need to it because, well, I've already... Uh, been through the house and the white picket fence stage been through the um you know relationship the marriage all that stage and well kids never happen stage and of course kids aren't going to happen now with just me unless i uh, got some weird uh, scientific way to make them happen <laughs> so it kind of be just the way it is live my life one day at a time and around we go but short little vlog here, just kind of showing what's the what, just proving I'm still alive for another few more days. We'll see what she goes. Maybe I can do a vlog before the movers come. If not, the next vlog will be in the new apartment. <laughs>